Morning guys, Timing from Munt's Family Homestead. If you've got a uh, small pool like we do, uh, we've got a 24 foot, I'm sorry, 26 foot round, four foot deep. Uh, we bought with this pool, I said when it came with the pool years ago, this Polaris uh, 65. Uh, for some reason or another, I've got water coming out where this goes together. So we're gonna take it apart and see if we've got an issue with either I don't think it froze because we drained all the water out of it my wife put it in one of those big totes that you get from the box store or whatever and uh, put it in there but I, I don't know if it's broke apart of what it's doing you can see that it's got the water comes in here pushes in and then what it does it picks up the water or picks up here when it pushes it out it's got a screen on the bottom of it I'll show you that later but I think I see what the problem is these jets there's four of them one here one here and then here and then there's supposed to be one there. I don't know if you can see that or not. The hole right there. But what it's done is, I don't know why, but see how this one is sticking out from the inside? So if you've got any problems with your Polaris 65, it might be easier for you to just tear it apart. Now I will tell you, I have taken this apart before. There is a seal in here that sometimes will leak and you can take that apart. I'm not gonna do that on this video, that's for another one. But, y'all, I don't know if you can see this, I'm being honest. You see that right there? That is a mini wasp nest. See that right there? Right at the top, see right there? That is a little bitty wasp nest that they had started trying to make in this thing. Now, I have never had that problem before at all. But anyway, to fix this, we're going to take and put this back down in here and just push it back in the hole. I mean, that that's that's the whole fix. And then, like I said, I don't know why it did that. I don't know if the cover, the cover wasn't loose or anything uh -huh. like that. But just to, like I said, just to, you know, try to keep your stuff up. You know, sometimes you have to take it to professionals and things like that. I'm no professional. Now, uh, I try to do as much as I can to save as much money as I can because things are so high, uh, labor and everything else. Uh, but this is, like I said, a quick fix. And I'll take you down in a minute, hook, hook this back up, and I'll show you how this works. And after these storms that we've had with six inches, no, we had six inches. We had six inches of rain between um monday and wednesday this is actually saturday uh finally got sunshine finally <laughs> but now the humidity is up and the heat index today is supposed to be 103. now i know that's not real bad but it's bad enough but uh let's take this down to the pool hook it all back up and make sure it works correctly all right guys down at the pool um this hose get it out of the water you can see like i said all the junk that's in the bottom of our pool again. And what this does is, this has got a, a little skimmer at the bottom of it. Now, I, I, I mean, y'all know this, but I just I like to tell you anyway, just in case, just in case somebody doesn't know. But anyway, that picks up everything that is really in the, in the pool and it, and it does a really good job. But there are two jets, one there and one there at the bottom of this. And that's where the water comes out. Um, the back of here, water goes in here. No, 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 scratch that. Water goes in here, pushes this way. That's the reason it, it's got a uh, bi-direction. It'll either go this way or this way, frontwards or backwards. The bottom half is where you put your, your skimmer or your screen or whichever one you'd like to call it but it's very easy. It's just got a screw on end. just like so, stay in there. 
like, like of that. And then this end here comes from the pump where water goes in. Like I said, I'll show you all that in just a second. Let me get this hooked up. It's just, like I said, screw on, righty tighty, lefty loosey. It's like, it's like so. And when you buy one of these, or if it comes with your pool, it'll give you instructions to stretch out the hose coming from the, the uh, pressure side, which is the one that comes in. And like I said, it comes in from this side. The water goes into the skimmer. And like I said, we, we, my wife has drained this thing, I don't know, four or five times already in the past in the past week and you can see it's still just running over so what we're going to do we're going to circulate things but this being the pressure out here water comes into the skimmer down into the pump and this this has got a screen filter in there i'm not going to take it off because water will go everywhere but that'll also catch things that the skimmer might miss now there is a leaf catcher in here and it's, it's got just a few leaves in it, not many. Uh, but just dump those out for right now anyway. Put it back down in there. And what this does is it circles your pool. goes backwards and forwards. That's, that's not circling. That's going backwards and forwards. I did graduate. I did go to college. Doesn't show it sometimes, though. But anyway, just leave it on pressure, just like you're, you're circulating your pool. And the hose I was telling you about, did it give you instructions this one, that one there, that you stretch it all the way across the middle of your pool and let your uh, Polaris get to the furthest part over there. And then it'll give you a little kit that goes in there that you can cut off the end of it and it'll reach all the way across the pool. So let's flip this puppy on. And like I said, you'll see. Yep, there we go. That's what it's supposed to do. It's like that and it'll go backwards and forwards. And it's got a, uh, a, a little uh, a valve in there that when it has so much pressure to it, see, it'll automatically shift and it'll push it backwards. And it'll start from there. And you can start it, you know, at this side or that side, but it'll go from one side to the other, back across, and then see, I don't know if you can see in the pool or not, but see how it's, the, the skimmer is at the bottom that's what it's doing, it's pushing it backwards and forwards where that, those little small pinholes were, the thrust from the pressure side is going through the machine out the bottom, that's where it gets its thrust from, and that actually helps push it, uh, push the debris up into there. Whew. Y'all, we live in North Mississippi, about 40 miles from the Tennessee line. We're usually in this pool by late May at the latest. It is still, and I'm, I, I ain't got my thermal thermal gun with me. I don't know where my wife did with that temperature gauge. But anyway, this water is probably still somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 80 degrees. With the day being 103 heat index, we may just have to get in. But anyway, hey, I just wanted to do a quick video. If you had one of those Polaris 65s, now there are other Polarises that have the wheels on the side of them that actually go up the side of the pool. And like I said, this one's not big enough for that. Those are made for, you know, concrete pools or fiberglass pools that have liners in those. But anyway, hey, thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe, you know, if it helps, but it also helps us if you do that too. Uh, remember, tomorrow's Sunday, find you a good Bible-believing church. God bless you. Y'all have a great and wonderful day.